get that noise off. It's Saturday, 30th of March, 10.22. And I've got to go to the post office and pop in a load of website orders because Sunday, Easter Sunday, Monday, it's also a bank holiday here in the UK, which is April the 1st, which is launch day for April's products. So I want to get them all into the post office um, before the 1st of April, so that they can hit the ground running when everything's back to normal again on Tuesday. Uh, after I've done that, I'm going to go to the supermarket. Um, I need a few bits and pieces, don't need that much, but I just wanted to get out of the house this morning. Mum and Dad are still with us. They've been with us since Wednesday. Um, Mum's just been a bit difficult this morning. So I just needed breathing space. <laughs> just need to get out. Um, Ian's not exactly been helpful either this morning. So yeah, I just need a bit of breathing space, a bit of quiet time, a bit of my own <laughs> breathing space, if you know what I mean. So I've gone to the supermarket on my own to do a bit of grocery shopping. But first of all, like I said, it's a post office. Well, good morning. It's a lovely sunny morning and I'm out in the garden doing a little bit of uh, digging and weeding, etc., which I'll show you in a second. I'm feeling a lot better as well, thank you very much for asking. Um, I've been to the doctors, I have something called spondylosis in my neck. I think uh, I've got a shaped sleep on a V-shaped pillow. I think I'm going to go see the chiropractor and get him to stretch it and whatever they do. It just when I do that and that I can hear it grating and it's a little bit putting off, so I try not to do that. Um, and I also had a little bit of a touch of labyrinthitis which um, I don't know whether you know is an infection of the inner ear and it makes you go all dizzy whizzy woo and I was a bit dizzy whizzy woo and I felt really 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 awful last week and the week before but I'm a lot better now and I'm in the garden so I'll show you what I'm about to do well it's the first time in the garden since last August September October time so everything's a little bit once well, cutting back what's well, a bit of weeding doing a bit of tidying up but the hostas are coming through beautifully I think there's only little fingers there, but the Xantodicia is romping away. It loves it there. Huge white flowers on it. I have two. The other one is a uh, petite at the moment, to say the least. But it will pick up and it will come. This one is because it's shaded by the, the chairs. So it's, uh, it's having a lovely time in the sunshine. Just need to get everything else weeded and sorted. They need to trim back. It's just a bit of a mess. But a few hours and it'll be fine. But what is good is the mother-in-law's, is it mother-in-law's tongue or something like that? What it's called, what it's called. Mike will tell me when it gets back. These have absolutely tripled in size since last year. Um, Lords and ladies, that's what they're called. They were, when we got them, they were about, what, five inches across. Planted them, Andrew's brother gave us it. Then we cut it in half and now look at it. It's unbelievable and you get spikes of orangey red berries which are poisonous so not really ideal if you've got children but the dogs know to keep away so we're all we're all good so yeah it just needs trimming tidying and sorting out which i will do over the next couple of weeks well after about an hour i'm all sorted and i think you'll agree it looks a lot nicer i've actually gone right the way around the garden to the big bamboo in the corner over there uh, just put a bit of an edge in cleaned all the weeds out cleaned all the rubbish out from the winter but yeah the hostas are doing incredibly well they love it here hostas are supposed to like dry uh, moist conditions this is full sun and every year we get the most unbelievable show from them same with the ferns and the Xanta dishes. Just need to cut the grass now, because we've got, we got some people living in it. That lilliput. 
So yeah, that's the job probably for tomorrow because it's not that dry. Excuse the children playing, they talk about some rubbish. Don't want children. But a job for tomorrow. I think it is nice. So I've just been into the post office and they've changed, the government, the UK government, have changed the customs forms again. So going from little customs forms that you put on the back, they're now that big. They're huge. And then I'll ask him for the weight of each individual item in the packet. <laughs> like that's going to happen. Right, off to the supermarket. So it's just gone 8.30 on Tuesday morning and we're at Indigo Blue. It's the 2nd of April. So nobody else is here, it's just me and Ian. <laughs> so it's looking a bit sparse in the shop at the moment. Looks like they're in the process of restocking some of the shelves, the stands, but also big orders going on at the moment. So this is where all the, the paints and all of the luscious powders are stored and the racks of texture paste and all the lovely Matte, uh, matte mediums and gloss mediums and fabric mediums and sparkly mediums, all that kind of stuff. And the most important are the big tubs of sweeties that go out in every order. <laughs> and Ian's busy trying to get the machines working this morning. Just warming them up, ready for a day's work. And of course, where are the babies this morning? They're there, look. Or well, one of them is anyway. One's missing. We're missing Mr. Bentley. Don't know where he is. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there he is. Hello, darling. <laughs> oh, Teddy playtime, is it? Uh, we're here to work, not to play. <laughs> We're all going out together this morning, but not together. <laughs> They're going out for a walk. And I'm going to go do some grocery shopping. See you later! I have a list, a litany, if you like, of things to do today. So I've got to go to the health centre and sort out uh, some medical issues for mum. And then we've got grocery shopping to do. Then on the way home, I've got to stop off and do post office stuff, but not post post office. I've got financial post office stuff to do. I've got some money to move around from one account to another. And seeing as we have no local banks, the post office is the only place to do it, without having to go into the town centre, that is. So the post office is the easiest and the quickest and the most convenient place in which to do it. So those are my jobs for today. Um, when I went down to see Mum on Monday, um, I borrowed her foot spa because if you've been following me for a while, you know I do have some issues with my feet. Um, and I thought, I wonder if the, her foot spa or a foot spa would help. And she has one, but she's never used. It was still brand new in the box and she was bought it as a, a gift. Um, months ago and she's never bothered using it so I thought well if she lets me borrow it first I can see whether or not it's any good 
and if it helps then if she doesn't want it I can either buy it from her or I could buy my own so anyway so I borrowed it tested it out and it's absolute rubbish it does nothing <laughs> apart from you know it, it will keep in the water warm it, it blows bubbles but not strong enough for it to have any effect there are massages on the bottom but they're just road plastic rollers and they don't really massage your feet they just dig in so I can't I can't say that I was impressed with it at all. So anyway, it's all washed, dried, and boxed back up, and I'm taking it back home to her today, so she can have it back. <laughs> so that's, uh, I'll just stick with my usual warm bowl of water that I usually use with the moisturizers and stuff. So there you go. Well, it's a big day today, it's Mike's new stamp day today. This is the board that's, that's been made to make the stamp. As you'll see, the stamp is the right way around on the board, which oh, it has yes. to be. Yes. It's when we put the rubber on, it takes it the opposite way around, and when you stamp it, it transfers it back the correct way. So it's the right way first. Then the wrong way. Then the wrong way. And then, then when you stamp, stamp it, it's, it's the, the right, right way around. So, it's the board. The board goes into there. The rubber sheet, which has got now, I call it talcum powder, but it's um, French chalk. Mm -hmm. Non-stick mat, like you have in your oven. Metal plate. I'm going to put it in the press, and it's going to go in four minutes fifty seconds. Sorry, four minutes fifty seconds, and it's going in at three hundred and fifty-nine degrees. So it's a bit warm. I'm here. So we just push that in. So we have to pump it up to 400 psi. It's like a really good steam pump gauge on the and front then of that. The timer goes, and away we go. So how long have we got to Four cook? Four minutes fifty seconds. Four minutes fifty seconds to cook. Yes. Right, we'll be back then. And we're cooked. Get the pressure off. Bring the sandwich out. Little plate. <coughs> it smells a bit, doesn't it? It's the new plates, they smell awful. That's not... <laughs> Obviously, it's very hot. So is this the very first pull on this plate? Yes. Mm. And that will just go over there. To cool down. To cool down. And then we'll come back again in a minute when it's time to cut the lady out. Yeah. So it's all cooled down now. Look, even the colour's changed. It has. It goes a lot lighter when it's, when it's cool. Uh -huh. It's still so warm. What are you doing now? I'm just going to put this on the self-adhesive cling. Okay, this is the backing, yeah? This is the backing. The foam backing. This, this is self-adhesive, and this is what what you put on your stamping block. That cling, A cling mount. Cling mount. Yeah. So I'll just put that across there. So there's that's mounted onto there. And then when we get ready to cut it, I'll be back with you. Okie dokie. Okay, so now it's time to cut out. We have 
that on there. Mm -hmm. Excuse the white blobs there from the, uh, <laughs> it's just the, chalk, the oven gloves. Oh, from the oven gloves. Okay. Go on then. Okay. Watch the mass trap work. So each one of the stamps will be hand cut out by Ian. So keeping it in the family. Just try and keep an even mark, an even gap all the way around. Fantastic. And I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, see, it's all about keeping it in the family. Hello, Mr. Bentley, you're helping too. <laughs> The sentiment, I oh. will, the sentiment I will cut on the guillotine, so yeah. I can square. Okay, so, and that is the laminate. There you go, so these will be going on sale on April the 19th. There we go. So we're back home. I just thought I would just reiterate what was just said in that last piece of film. Um, so the stamp. Ta-da! So these will be going on sale on April the 19th, which is a Friday. Um, however, these are now available on my website to pre-order. So if you want one. I think they're lovely. <laughs> well, you would say that because you cut them out and pressed them. No, I mean, the design's lovely. Yeah. So um, if you if you think you recognise the image, you will do. I created an art journal page. If I you can come across. Yes and just talk about how long it kind of takes to fill the process just while I um, grab my art journal page a moment. Hello everyone, it's me. Yeah, the process from start to finish is from making a stamp is probably from getting the rubber to actually packing it is probably about six minutes, eight minutes. Um, that doesn't include time to burn your fingers, which is why <laughs> if you notice how wear they look, they look like oven gloves, but they're actually yeah. heat resistant gloves because uh, it's a little bit warm and when they come out they are red hot and the rubber on the edge is a little bit molten and when you get it on you, you try and wash it off it doesn't come off it just burns you then burns you again so <laughs> he's back now yes. right adios <laughs> so as i was saying if you think you re recognize the picture oh, yeah. it was the lady i used in this uh, journal page wow um not so long ago when was that um january so in january and there were lots and lots of comments other way Sorry, that's the stamp, isn't <laughs> lots it? and lots of comments about how much it will how nice it would be to actually have that lady as a stamp i listened so i did she's actually she's actually bigger in real life i think than on the front of the stamp. let me just try and peel the stamp off and i'll just hold it up oh she's she's actually probably about the same size oh cool so and this is an eight by eight art journal page so you can see she's a decent size so yeah she's available hadn't named her to pre-order now haven't named her yet um but you know like i said she's there she's available for pre-order now if you're interested irene she could be called irene <laughs> irene does she look like an irene <laughs> she looks a bit like my friend irene when she's a bit tussled fair enough i'm hyper excited <laughs> How can anybody get excited over bedding? I can. William Morris bedding. You know what I'm like with my bedding. I like nice bedding. Well, an offer came along <laughs> and I'll show you it first. So this is the material. It's going to open one of the pillowcases. There we are. There we are. Right, I'll come on that side because it's upside down. Oh, sorry. There we go. So what's the pattern? I can't remember. Well, where's the um, in the bin? Where's the wrapper? Oh, you've moved the wrapper already. It's called seasons. seasons I think yeah. seasons. Yeah. So that's the front. Let's look at the birdies. Lovely birdies. Absolutely beautiful. Are they, do you think are these peonies or? I don't know. It's oriental, and that's the inside. And the quilt is that on the back as well. How lovely! Of course, I can't have this sort of bedding. Why can't you have that sort of bedding, Mike? Well, because Bentley tends to scratch it and put holes in it. Well, this was an offer. Um, I saw it and I liked it and I thought, well, 
we'll see. And it was a, supposed to be £180 for the set. There was a sale on and it was 60 Then I went to the website and I got another 10% off. <laughs> so this is the sort of price you'd pay in Dunholm for bedding. Yeah. But it's the best bedding money can buy. Yes, so uh, we'll have to make sure that Bentley goes nowhere near it. Oh, well, we can, you can lay on it. It won't scrap my bedding. He only scraps <laughs> yours. I've got him trained. <laughs> I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.